Hi all, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Now you are going to learn 3 method to blur background for 3 type pictures. This picture is very short range. Then the next one is very long range, we can see horizon in this picture. Then the last one is medium range with perspective view. Each picture need different types of blur effect. So let's start with first one. According to this picture we need to focus on couple face. So focus should be in center portion. All other areas should be blurred. For that first right click on the layer then choose convert to smart object. The reason for convert this layer to smart object is we can edit already applied effects. Then go to filter choose iris blur from blur gallery. Iris Blur options opened now. You can use this handles to adjust the size of focus area. To move this area just click and drag this center dot. To adjust blending blur to focus area use these four handles inside the circle. Then adjust blur to 8 pixels. This unit will be changed based on the image size. After finalize your action press OK button to apply the changes. If you want to edit the value just double click on the blur gallery then edit it. After applied blur effects click on the adjustments options then choose color lookup. Now change the color lookup properties. This is the first method to blur background. Now let's check will it be worked on long range photos. Let's repeat the same process to check how it looks. First right click on the layer then choose convert it to smart objects. Then go to filter choose iris blur from blur gallery. Here you can see iris blur option not good for this long range view photo. Sky is not blurred properly. Also we don't need to blur bottom of the image. So keep in mind if you are working with long range photo including sky and horizon don't use iris blur. I will show you another method to blur this photo. Go to the first state to this picture using undo. Ctrl plus Z is the shortcut for undo. We need to duplicate this layer first. To duplicate layer right click on the layer then choose duplicate layer. After that click on the properties icon and click remove background button. Background is automatically removed now. Click on the bottom layer of the eye icon to view transparency. This feature is only available on Photoshop CC 2020 onwards. Photoshop using auto intelligence for this process. Sometimes it may not be perfect. In this picture you can see cloth area removed. Select the cloth area using polygonal lasso tool. After that click select masking layer, then change foreground color to white and fill it. To fill the foreground color, go to edit menu and choose fill. Make sure contents must be foreground color before hitting ok button. Hide the bottom layer to see the changes. Cloth is visible now.
Now I am going to select this couple. To make selection around the couple, hold Ctrl key and click on the masking layer. Selection is created now. Hide the top layer and click on the bottom layer. We need remove this couple from bottom layer. Before that we have to expand this selection to 5 pixels. To expand the selection, go to select menu and click on the expand under the modify option. Set value to 5 pixels and hit OK button. Now go to edit menu and choose fill. Then change contents to content aware. Hit OK button and wait a moment. You can see the couples removed and Photoshop filled background using auto intelligence. It is not perfect, even though it is enough for our purpose. Show top layer to see the couples. Now go to filter menu and choose tilt shift from blur gallery. This filter blurs the image on top and the bottom. It leaves the center portion intact. Click on the center icon and move it to bottom. From the solid line to dashed line you will get gradual blur. Adjust the dashed line and solid line to control gradual blur. After that set blur value to 8 pixels. Once again click on new layer fill icon and choose color lookup from the options. Then choose any effect as your wish. This is the final output of tilt shift blur effect. Now we have another image that is medium range with perspective view. Let's check out how tilt shift blur work with that image. I don't want to repeat entire process. This is, is the original image. After applying tilt shift to this image this is the output. My opinion is tilt shift blur is not suitable for medium range perspective view image. From the top angle shot all these area will not focus. We need only focus closest area to the couple. Let's undo this step using Ctrl plus C. I have already duplicated the couple and background removed for tilt shift effect. So I am going to start from this step. Go to filter menu and choose Gaussian blur from the blur options. Set blur value to 6 pixels and hit OK button. Select the smart filter layer, then I am going to fill black color using brush tool. Make sure your foreground color is black. Apply it near the couple's area. Then choose brush tool with size 500 pixel radius and use it around the couple. This is the way we can customize blur area to the image. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please subscribe my channel and hit bell button to get latest updates.